Okay, hello, this is Future Me on June 22nd, 2024. It is so crazy to me that I have this footage, oh my god. So I'm going to do a quick little story time and turn this down. I really can't tell my camera lens is blurry. Is that better? I think it is, okay. The other day, I was going to take Saran out for a walk. I like my bow. Okay, focus. I was going to take Saran out for a walk and it was really hot out. So I was going to look for her rechargeable little mini fan that attaches to the stroller. The last place I remembered it being was in her old diaper bag that I hadn't used in quite some time. We just keep it in our entry hall closet. So I went and got that. I found the fan in that bag, but I also found something else, which was really interesting. And that was my old camera. I had been convinced that this was stolen from my car during the moving process. That's That was the story. That was just like the most logical answer. I looked everywhere and I swear to God, I had used that diaper bag. Like I would have checked that diaper bag. I'm like 90% sure that I did check that diaper bag. Anyways, I found all my old footage. That's where this is coming from. It's so awesome. Here we are. So this was back in the middle to the end of October of 2023. Just some random footage that I had laying around. Please enjoy because I know that I was so happy to find this. Good morning. It's Monday, October 16th. I did my makeup today. I don't think I've done it for work since I've started work. So that's cool. I'm currently going to go to a computer place and see if they can fix my laptop. It's been a task that I've been wanting to deal with for quite some time, but I've just never gotten around to it because it hasn't been dire enough. Now that we have a bit of extra money, like spare money left over from our settlement money, I'd like to take advantage of it and just fix my devices. And if it can't be fixed, then I might have to save up for a new laptop. But another thing actually that I've been wanting to do more so than my laptop is my PC has not been doing great it's been so slow for probably the past year I just haven't been using it enough to make a big deal out of it again if I am able to get it fixed for a decent amount and get it up and running I will probably use it more often I'm chewing Gavis gone okay got my keys my wallet my laptop also I kind of want to show my outfit today but it's you're not gonna be able to see it oh well <laughs> I've got this nice little shirt that I got from the thrift store some black jeans with a belt Hold on. There we go. Dickie's corduroy jacket. I also have a little cardigan under there because I work in a school. Because I, oh my god. Because it's fall and I work in a school so I need to be like that bitch. Anyways, I'm gonna get my shoes on and go. I really hope that they can fix it. But this is what annoys me. I don't know if it's what annoys me about my car or if it's what annoys me about how much frigging hair that I have. This is why I want to get my hair chopped completely off half of the time. But it's also so thick that I feel like even if I chopped it off really short, it's still gonna be massive and annoying. Every time I get into the car with a bun, I get annoyed. Like, and it sucks because I just wanna have a bun day sometimes. Okay, I just got back from the computer place and basically they were just able to tell me that my battery is only functioning to like, we're only charging up to about 65% as opposed to 100. So they're looking into the price of a battery replacement for me and see if it would be worth it to even get the battery replaced because I'd have to pay for the new battery and also the cost for them to put it in for me. So we'll see. I don't know. I've just been like... Well, last year during Vlogmas, I bought a gaming laptop so that I could have something better to edit with, which was fine, but I just realized I didn't really need to do that and I ended up returning it because I have like, I have my desktop PC. That's what I edit with. But lately it's, that's been running slow. Um, so I have to bring that into them for them to look at it. It's not, it doesn't work really well for editing on this laptop. It's quite slow, but it can work 
And the other thing is that it's um, a two-in-one tablet. So I'm like, oh, I like that it functions as a tablet as well and I can like draw on it, which I almost never do, but I just like that it, the option is there. I really can't make up my mind on what to do. I know that I want to get my desktop back in working order, but I would also love to be able to like go and edit at a cafe, which is why I bought that stupid gaming laptop and then returned it. Maybe I should have just kept it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what kind of laptop would be the best for what I need it to do. I just need to do a lot of thinking. It's 10.30, so I have a few hours before I need to go to work. I don't really know what to do. I spent this morning looking for volunteer positions to work uh, remote from home because I do have like the flexibility in the mornings to do some things. Like I have hours that I put in for my job from home, but it's not, it doesn't take up my whole day. So I'm like, I would like to get some experience in a remote position that's volunteer, that's with social media or something like that. I just want to, I don't know, I want something a little bit extra. God. Oh, <laughs> there, when I was driving back here, <coughs> there was um, a group of kids like from a daycare or something walking on the street and in front of me was like a dump truck and they honked for the kids because they were like honk your horn and they all got really excited. So that's what that was about. I was like, why are they honking? But it's because the kids are walking outside. That's so cute. Yeah, I just wanted something to do because my ADHD brain needs something else to fill the space. Um, even though I'm doing like social media myself, I feel like I need, a, there's a lot that I have to learn about it. And while I was on maternity leave, I actually took a digital marketing course through like the Google, is it Coursera? Something like that. I did like, I think there's seven courses and I did three of them. I didn't end up finishing them. I just got busy with the baby. She got older, she got weird, doing more stuff, blah, 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 whatever. But now I'm thinking maybe I should just finish that course and try and use it. My brain is just like, I need something else. I need something else. <laughs> and I'm like trying to figure out how to satiate it. Basically, that's why I've been posting so much on social media lately because I have a little bit extra time on my hands and I love it, love doing that, but it's like, I need to. This is how far I'm in Kingdom of Ash. So I really need to read this today. I haven't been reading that much lately. I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee or tea, do some worky bits and then maybe read. That tastes weird. Also, the amount of milk that we go through in this household, it was just, it was bizarre when it was just Josh drinking milk, but now that Seren is on cow's milk and not breast milk, it's absurd. We buy at least one, or we buy at least two four liter jugs of milk a week. One for Josh and me a little bit and then one for Seren. She drinks the homogenized milk. It's just ridiculous. We're spending so much money just on fucking milk. No wonder people can't afford to have more kids than one. People being probably us as well. <laughs> Getting my blankets all out. This is a mess, okay? Just don't fucking... I need to cover up the couch from Percy so that he doesn't pick at it anymore because he already did because he's a bitch. Now I just need to leave blankets on it at all times. Okay, I am aware that I look quite awful. I've got stained shirt, stained pants. Where is it? That one, the pant one is because of Seren. The shirt, I have no excuse for. It's four o'clock on Sunday, October 22nd. Yesterday, we got a text from our landlord. They said, we're finishing up tonight. You guys are good to go. And I just, oh, I'm, I still can't believe it. I'm still so fucking happy, man. It sucks because I have to start doing mornings again this week. So I had like a couple weeks where 
I wasn't working mornings, so I had the whole morning up until the afternoon off where it would have been really nice to move. But anyways, we're still doing it. And ha, 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 no. Oh my God, Percy's just tried to knock over a cup of water. Hey, beautiful. Anyways, as I was saying, so it's gonna be a bit of a struggle to do it like in between work shifts and after work and all that crap. But we plan on being officially out of here. He just went back over to it by next weekend which is just so exciting next weekend we do have plans to stay overnight at my parents house do a little halloween party with the kids like seren's cousins but it's a long weekend so we'll just come back on the saturday and we'll have basically all day sunday i guess to move She's chasing birds. So yeah, we're we're moving home. We spent all day today basically going back and forth. I did two trips. Josh did one with me and we brought the baby over and unpacked a bunch of stuff. We mostly did like baking goods, like pantry foods and a bunch of dishes that we don't know that we won't need. All of my board games, a bunch of books and stuff. Stuff that we can kind of put away already even though we don't have all of our furniture back in there. And then throughout the week we're gonna load up a trailer and get it all done and ready to go. A couple of hiccups. Uh, so many things to figure out. We need to like get our internet set back up over there. We need to get our power back in our name. So many things. What was I saying? Oh, a couple of hiccups that have happened. Um, we discovered that we don't have our bookshelf. For some reason, I thought that was one of the things that they didn't throw out, but I didn't see it anywhere in our garage. So I'm thinking they threw it out and it wasn't on our contents list, which is a bummer. I mean, it wasn't an expensive, it was one of the Ikea like Billy bookshelves. So those are fairly cheap, but it just sucks because it's just another thing that I'm gonna have to go back to Ikea for like the fourth time and go get a new one and put it together. Anyways, because we bought our, hello stinker. Because we bought our dressers secondhand this time to save a little bit of money, I went to Canadian Tire to get this called Dr. Doom Sleep Tight Bed Killer. Bed Bug Killer, sorry. Now, I don't see anything on the dresser. It's just, it's sketchy buying things secondhand, especially like furniture and things like that that you can't like put in a washer in a dryer and just hope for the best. We're gonna spray that down before we bring it out because it's in a garage right now. We'll just spray it down before we bring it over to our house. What the fuck is happening with this camera? So I just wanted to give a little update and I think I'm gonna make this video just be the moving process all this week because I'm gonna be too busy to make a more cohesive one day video kind of thing. It's just gonna be a bunch of clips smashed together and I'm gonna hope for the best because we're getting into the thick of it. But I'm so excited to be moved by November so that when it comes to decorating for Christmas, we're already in a home. Oh my God, I'm so excited. something gross is that when I first had Seren, I my milk didn't come in for like a few days after she was born so we were giving her formula and I wasn't sure how much milk I was going to produce so I got some of the formula that she was given in the hospital in like a massive box of it I put it in the car I can't remember why I think it was we were like traveling to my parents house and so I just like put it in this thing in the car. And then every single time I meant to take it out of the car, I just forgot. So yeah, this has been frozen and thawed out probably so many times <laughs> since she was born. That's really gross. I'm gonna go throw that out now. So I filmed the clip yesterday, but I'm probably just gonna delete it and talk again. It is currently Monday. It's quarter after 10 in the morning. 
I'm back to doing morning shifts at work, unfortunately. We're trying to figure that stuff out. Over the weekend, we get a text from our landlords saying that they are finishing up on the apartment and we should be ready to start moving our stuff back. So I'm so freaking excited. I like, I've got the internet figured out. I've asked someone to set up the power. I'm getting everything ready for us to get back in there. And I am just so excited. So we spent yesterday, which was Sunday, probably a good like two hours moving stuff over there and unpacking stuff, putting some stuff away. It's starting to feel more real that like, okay, we're not gonna have to live here anymore. We get to move back home. At the same time though, obviously this is a huge house, has a huge yard and it's gorgeous and it's, it's we're very lucky. It's just like part of me is just so ecstatic to not have to clean this house, to not have to deal with this, to be back in our own neighborhood. Like I love going on walks in our neighborhood. We live in a great little spot, but it also felt very small, small while we were there. So it's gonna take some getting used to. It's, it's like a double-edged sword because it's way less to clean, it's way easier. It feels like our home because it's gonna have all of our things in it and we've already lived there for a year we've already lived there for a few months i guess oh my god we haven't even lived there for that long whatever it's our home i'm excited to not have to like run up and down the stairs if seren like wakes up during her nap or at night and having to like settle her back down give her a bottle give her whatever she needs change her like everything is in the same vicinity we don't have to like run around looking for it but it has been nice to have all this space and i feel like it's gonna be a little bit weird especially for percy to get adjusted to living in a small space again but like i said i'm so excited because we're going to be there for all of november because we weren't supposed to be able to move in until the end of november and i was like okay this is the third year in the row where we haven't had a home for christmas really like we've been moving during the christmas season and i haven't gotten to enjoy it or decorate or do anything that i really love about christmas so that is so exciting our couch is being delivered on wednesday i cannot wait for that freaking couch we are both so excited anyways we have so much furniture that we've just gotten or is on its way i just picked up a bookshelf for seren so when i take this load over i'm gonna unpack as much stuff as i can like as much stuff as can be put away because we don't have almost any furniture over there yet and i obviously can't fit it in my car or move it by myself so i'm doing whatever i can on my own including building the furniture that is there and putting away whatever i can we're gonna get this process started so that hopefully by this weekend we can be living there oh my god i can't believe i'm saying this okay let's go just not remembering I didn't bring my friggin' tool case, my tool kit. Oh, actually my drill might be in the car. The drill might be a little bit too much to build this. I'm not going back to the house. I woke up this morning, forearms like right here were sore and I was like convinced that it had some fucking random disease. And I'm starting to realize that it's from moving boxes. I'm so happy. storage of business is laundry because we still have some things that smell of mold because they were in the house for a few weeks after the flood we never got a chance to wash it because it would be storage this is our room this is my new mirror that we just got yesterday. I am so in love with it. I don't know where it's gonna go yet. That's the issue. I don't know if there's gonna be enough room in our room. I'm thinking. So here's what I'm thinking. So my desk before was on this wall um, and there was a little space right here at the end of the desk. So if after I build all of this, there's still some room right there, I am going to. So if there's still room after I build my desk, to put something there, I think it's gonna be the mirror. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. With that being said, now I have to build that desk. Good luck to me. I didn't even bring scissors. Ooh, there's knives here. So the desk that I went for is an exact replacement for the one that I had previously, which is the Alex. It's not the Alex desk from Ikea, but it's the Alex drawers on either end with just a, like a tabletop. The only thing that I did different was instead of a white tabletop, I got a black brown tabletop because it was cheaper actually, so. Oh, look at all the convicurations you can do. That's interesting. 
interesting. It says you need a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. I know that I don't have either of those, but do you think I can use a drill? I'll just be gentle with it. Oh, are all of those already on it? Hey, what way are you going? Okay, I see why I need a screwdriver. That kind of work. I only have time to do the one shelf because I spent over an hour building that. So the other one is just gonna have to be built another day. I'm probably gonna try and clean this up, see what things I can put away in the apartment. But I love this mirror! bookshelves because I have an actual bookshelf that I ordered and I don't even know if I'm gonna keep those ones up there but I had like a color scheme last time and I want to stick with that and I have certain books that I want on the bookshelf that I don't really want super displayed so it's time to dry is really annoying 11 52 so I have another half an hour I really don't know where to start I think I'll put some dishes away There is a liquid in this and I don't know what it is. I feel like it's the water from the flood because it was down in the oven drawer thing which was definitely underwater. That's gross. I can clean it out, right? I don't want to throw these out. They're my school cake things. There's a little Lego bone on the counter. I don't know what that is from. Oh no! I just stepped on my David's tea and popped it. Oh, I really could have used this. Oh my god, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm too tired to keep going. I don't think I'll be here tomorrow, which is Tuesday, but I should be here every other day of the week. Oh my god, I just want to go to sleep. So it is Thursday, October 25th, nope, 26th, 10 a.m. I'm in between shifts, so I'm working on this. But do you, do you see that? Oh, that's our new couch. It's a bit stiff, but hopefully we'll break it in. It feels really similar to the couch we had before anyways. But like this, this is comfy, it's just the butt part is stiff. So excited. It's smaller than the one we had before, which we like because we live in a small apartment. So this suits the space much better. However, it doesn't really have less seating space because you're standing on the ottoman. So that's like an extra seating space. Plus there's a pull out. Let me show you. So this has storage in it, which is fantastic. We just have some movies and some photo albums in there. And it's a bed so like for movies and stuff i feel like this is gonna be so fun <laughs> so i think on the agenda today 
we'll be building the entryway bench that has like storage in it for shoes and stuff. It's just generally unpacking some more things. I have some more of Seren's books that need to be put away, some board games, but again, I still don't have all of our furniture here. So it is a little bit difficult to unpack and organize right now. I'm gonna do what I can. Let's do that. Got all my tools. I'm probably gonna leave soon. I didn't really film much because I was just like trying to have my head in the game and really focus on getting shit done. This is everything that I did in the two hours, I guess. So first task was to build that. That went great. Um, I need to figure out how I'm gonna organize this, but right now I've just got some of my winter stuff and then the baby's mittens and a couple extra pairs of her shoes. And then we'll just tuck like the shoes that we use the most in there. I unpacked a few more books and put them up there, but that's definitely not how they're gonna go. I just, uh, I don't know what to do about that situation right now. Put away a bunch more. So we had like video games that I found and then more DVDs. And again, I don't like how that look, but I need to figure out how much more of those things that we have. Cause I know we have more um, Wii games at least. I need to figure out how much more we have before I can organize it properly. And those are all books that need, uh, we need our main bookshelf. We used to have a big white Billy bookshelf here that got thrown away so I ordered another one from Walmart it's basically it's basically the same as this one but with five shelves instead of three and honestly after building that one I am kind of regretting not just getting the Billy bookshelf it was like $30 cheaper I think from Ikea so that's why I did that but after building that one I feel like it would just be more worth it to get the Ikea one and I honestly might even need to buy another one of these or just a small bookshelf for all the overflow books um I looked in there because I wanted wanted to organize it and then decided that's just too much for today. So um, I was unpacking this box and I just threw that stuff there for now. I got this all set up. I think that's how I'm going to have it. I might have it like more centered, like pulled over here a little bit. This I still don't know what I want to do. I wanted it on an angle, but kind of awkward. Like maybe I'll put it in that little corner there. And then I did put some clothes away. So I hung some up and put some in this little dresser. This is new. So hopefully that's going to help clear up some space for me with my clothes. I just hung up those two things. I brought some stuff into here and then realized I don't have all of my organization stuff. So that's all going to have to wait to be organized. And then I put some more coffee stuff down here. You would have seen me do this whole area. Basically, I just pitter pattered the whole time. It was pretty, pretty successful, I guess. I look like shit and I feel like shit because I'm just so tired and oh, this cough won't go away. I was gonna do those dishes, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm too tired. I need to go back, have like a very short mini rest before I go back to work. And I've also done laundry. Before I go, I'm just gonna quickly mention Something that's altering my life again is that I'm switching jobs. Once again, it's it's just because of um, the distance that I have to commute to work and also the, the schedule that they have. The hours just really don't work for us and the baby schedule, like her daycare is not open and then we have to find like two people to watch her like after and before her daycare. And it's just so much, so much driving back and forth, so much pressure for other people that shouldn't have that kind of pressure. So I, I decided to look for something else and I found something. I'm still gonna be working in childcare. It's just gonna have different hours. It's gonna be more consistent. What I've been doing is just like, I work from like 7.30 to 8.40 in the morning and then like 1.30 to 6 in the afternoon and then commute times on top of that. And it's just been crazy. So I unfortunately had to let them know that I was switching jobs. So I think I'm gonna be doing it for two more weeks. I might do it a little bit longer, see what they need from me. Just 
another thing added on top of all this stress but i really hope it's for the better because it's been really stressing me out not having any time with seren and having to just bounce around every day all day every day i'm just so tired i'm so so tired of it oh i also threw out a bunch of shit from the fridge so that's in there i need to take that out to the garage so that it's not stinking up the house because garbage day is not for another week Hey, okay, say hello you can see yourself over there it is 1.33 in the afternoon. I was gonna say morning, but no. And we are making, we're making some dessert for a potluck. And yeah. We're making a, we're making a gluten-free chocolate cake. For our celiac pal. I want to wash my hands, but I'm not going to right now because I'm baking. You're right, we should wash our hands. Yeah. We should wash our hands, okay. Hold on, we're washing our hands. Got this recipe up on Pinterest. Ooh, we need to brew some coffee and we need some coffee, milk. Coffee. I, so, I brought some milk over from house. Yeah, do you wanna tell them what's happened this weekend for us though? So they're coming back. They're working to come moving back. And over the weekend, we're gonna go to Grammy's house and it's gonna be a potluck. There is going to be, I think, a Halloween party tomorrow. Are you going to that? Yep, we're bringing Saran. So we um, need to have a cup of a coffee. And do you know what I'm being for Halloween? Doritos. I'm That's always so funny. something crazy for Halloween. Butter! Please go back to the fridge. One and a half cups of gluten-free all-purpose flour. All right, there's one cup. Now we need half a cup of cocoa powder. You can't see anything that I'm doing. Sorry about that. Hold on. Is there anything I can do? You can stir this really careful because it's only like powdery stuff. Okay. Now we need soda or a teaspoon of salt. All right, mix all that super duper good. It is, I don't know if you can see right now, but it might be upside down. Yeah, I think it's upside down. 141. It look like it seems like it's early in the morning, but it's really not. Should put that in there. Mm -hmm. Have a cup of oil. Not really making any sound. Stuff's happening. We get well, I thought I dropped the spoon in the bowl, but I didn't. This is chaos, pure chaos. All pure right. chaos, guys. Pure chaos. I think right now. Now we gotta put our boiling water. I know it looks like there's a lot of a lot of stuff on the table, but there's actually not that much. Um, but I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna worry. I'm gonna think. Now we have three quarters of a cup. I need to crush it as we go. So it's got good. lumps, so just oh, that's all careful. We need six tablespoons of brown sugar. One, two teaspoons of vanilla. We need one egg. This is hard. Okay, it's more liquidy now. Which is yeah, we're getting there. Liquid on my knuckle. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're getting willy nilly. No more willies. Okay. No more nillies. No more willies or nellies. Okay, and now some milk. Want some milk in there? Okay, now you have to be really careful. It's just gonna splash everywhere if you careful. careful. No. Now we just need to get the half a cup of hot coffee in there. Watch your hands. This is oh god, oh dear god, this is all going everywhere. <gasps> Oopsies. All right. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. I'm not saying this is wrong. They're like professional cooks, people. <laughs> but you're funny. If you're like a two-year-old watching this or something, you're, you're doing a check great out, job. Um, Emma's videos because she makes really good videos. Thanks, dude. And check out the crevice. Where is it online? Should tell them where they can watch it. I think Vimeo and also like the Crumb Associate. You can find out some more. Can we put a link in? I will definitely try to um, remember to do that. Okay, link link in the description. I think. I yeah, know. link in the description. Yeah. Watch the crevice. Um, it's a really funny, goofy little. Ew, there's like a snot booger in here. <laughs> I love you since the humor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a show that his parents do. They're really awesome. That smells really good. Smell that all of it. Okay, I don't like it and not like it at the same time. The oil is a bit strong. Okay, I mean the vanilla is a bit strong. Line two six inch I'm kind of hands. hogging the camera. Oh, but I don't know how big six inches is. What do I do? I don't know. Big inches is six. I mean, six inches six is... Six inches. Hold on, hold on. I'm holding and I'm holding on. Ribbon curls. I'm going to 
open the door and then six inches. You know what that quote from Oliver? Hold on. Where in Jesus' name Oliver? Do you know where that quote is from? Where, what? I, where what? it said six inch ribbon curls? What what's that? Where's that from? The elf. The movie? The movie! Oh no, okay. But maybe we can just put it into a bunt cake. <laughs> we'll do a bunt cake. We'll do this. But you gotta be really careful so that you just get it into here and not into the hole. Okay? okay. Ready? No hole. Sorry, you can't see anything. We did this at a really bad angle, but I'm that's sorry. okay. Well, we can show them. Yeah. Next time we bake together, we'll make sure we get all the angles right. You can definitely taste like the gluten-free flour, but that tastes like Granny's birthday cake, like chocolate cake. But you can oh, taste nice. the difference from the gluten-free flour. That's it's the only thing. It's chunky. Say, so, see you later. See you later. All right, pan over to Oliver. Oliver, tell us what day it is and what we're doing. So... We are. What day going, is it? It is um, Saturday, October 28th. Perfect. We are going to the look off right now, and I don't know where it is. Camera's gonna die though. I'm not allowed. I want this one. And that's the end of the video. I don't have an outro because I had probably intended on making one and then lost the camera. So I never obviously got a chance to, but rewatching this has been really nice. And looking back on those memories, like the last clip was at this little place where we get farm fresh eggs, um, like close to kind of close to where my parents live out that way anyway and they had these like barn cats well kittens and it was just so cute we got to pick up the little kittens and we were like oh i wish we could have them but they were already spoken for just the beautiful fall colors like i just i loved that weekend it was really nice and spending time with oliver so i hope you enjoyed i think i'm gonna be back to regularly scheduled programming next week everything that i've been uploading has been like recorded pretty far ahead of time obviously this one is very very long ago who knows i'm having fun still uploading every friday at 1 p.m atlantic daylight time or standard time i don't know which one it is one of those things atlantic canada that's our time so i hope you enjoyed